data is critical to organizations for the immense value that it offers. In the past, organizations have considered data uneconomical and thus have used solutions which limited their capabilities to derive the value from data. In modern times, technologies have advanced, businesses have become more dynamic, and organizations now want to derive every bit of value from the data they always had. It is important for them to identify the data that needs to be captured and stored. With the increase in data volume, variety, and velocity, there is much needed change in the approach to capture, manage, process, and visualize data. The need to aggregate and analyze this data to derive hidden insights has grown with exponential data growth at an exponential rate. The capability to do this has become the basis of competition and the success that follows. Google's director of research, Peter Norvig, has well said, we don't have better algorithms, we just have more data. The graph here depicts the worldwide installed raw data storage capability that has taken a leap from 2012 to 2017. The usefulness of this unprecedented but available massive data depends on the ability of organizations to prioritize, capture, store, and retrieve data easily as they intend to leverage the value it provides. The desire to do this also brings with it the associated risks. In earlier times, organizations used traditional solutions such as RDBMS, inexpensive tapes and storage solutions for long-term data archiving. Today, these solutions are replaced with solutions that offer capabilities to store more data online, and they allow streaming and support agility and dynamism such as big data technologies and NoSQL data stores. Mobile devices, online sources, electronic communication, and instrumented machineries can be considered data generators. Data was generated earlier as well. However, organizations now seek to glean intelligence from the available data and translate that into business advantage. The digitization of business activities newer sources of information, and probable use of cheaper equipment bring us into a new era, replace or be replaced. The recent explosion of digital data and organizations' interest in data has positioned us at the beginning of a new revolution that will touch every business and change the way businesses work. Initially, data was being categorized as big data when it had characteristics of high volume, velocity, and variety. Later, other Vs were added to the list of characteristics. Veracity, viscosity, virality, volatility, and validity. Big data is a term coined to describe large or complex data sets. Traditional data processing solutions are inadequate to analyze this data and fail to capture, store, analyze, cure, search, share, transfer, visualize, query, process, and handle data. Benefits of big data are, it offers competitive edge and advantage. Data has emerged as the world's new measure of success and provides competitive advantage when leveraged to the core of its capabilities. It improves decision-making. Effective and precise decision-making is possible when more data is considered. Decision-making is moving from the elite few to the empowered many. It identifies the value of data. As data gets generated with high velocity and variety, existing solutions start showing weaknesses to catch up and deliver the real value of data. For such instances, big data solutions offer promising capabilities. Let's now look at a few interesting facts and statistics about big data. According to the International Data Corporation, or IDC, worldwide revenues for big data and business analytics will grow nearly from $122 billion in 2015 to more than $187 billion in 2019. Organizations able to take advantage of the new generation of business analytics solution can leverage digital transformation to adapt disruptive changes and to create competitive differentiation in their markets, said Dan Vassett, IDC Group Vice President, Analytics and Information Management. He added, these organizations don't just automate existing processes. They treat data and information as they would any valued asset 
by using a focused approach to extracting and developing the value and utility of information. There is little question that big data and analytics can have a considerable impact on just about every industry, said Jessica Gobfert, Program Director for IDC's Customer Insights and Analysis Group. Its promise speaks to the pressure to improve margins and performance while simultaneously enhancing responsiveness and delighting customers and prospects. Forward-thinking organizations turn to this technology for better and faster data-driven decisions, she added. Now let's look at some statistics and understand why big data is a challenge and how it also brings bigger opportunities. 57.6% of organizations surveyed say that big data is a challenge. 72.7% consider driving operational efficiencies to be the biggest benefit of a big data strategy. 50% say that big data helps in meeting customer demands and facilitating growth. So far, we have discussed the emerging importance of big data and the change that it brings to data utilization. Now let's look at a few infographics that showcases the four V's of big data and the statistics of big data. Volume refers to the scale of data. It is estimated that by 2020, the digital universe will equal 40 zettabytes. The amount of data created every day is estimated to be 2.5 quintillion bytes. Velocity refers to the analysis of streaming data or data that needs to be analyzed quickly. Digest these numbers. The New York Stock Exchange generates about one terabyte of information in a single trading session. Variety refers to different forms of data. Consider this. 30 billion pieces of content are shared on Facebook in a month. 4 billion hours of video are watched on YouTube in a month. 400 million tweets are sent per day by about 200 million active users. Veracity refers to the uncertainty of data. Consider this. In a year, the U.S. economy loses $3.1 trillion because data quality is poor. In a survey, 27% of the respondents said that they were unsure about the accuracy of the data they had. In the upcoming screens, you will observe some statistical records that emphasize about the use of big data its success in various industries, and its future growth. The key questions that enterprises ask about big data. How to store and protect big data. How to back up and restore big data. How to organize and catalog the data that you have backed up. How to keep costs down while ensuring that all the critical data is available when you need it. There are several volumes of data that generate from different social media websites like Facebook, Zynga, YouTube, LOL, and Twitter. 30 billion pieces of content were added to Facebook this past month by 600 million plus users. Zynga processes one petabyte of content for players every day, a volume of data that is unmatched in the social game industry. Big data and analytics is the core of next-gen manufacturing. With more Asia-Pacific manufacturers looking at making better and faster business decisions based on evidence, big data technologies can help the manufacturers to analyze larger volumes of data from a variety of sources and deliver the analysis at a greater velocity. IDC observes that regional manufacturers are taking a cautious approach, and the use of analytic tools today is basic. Here is the 2013 landscape in Asia-Pacific. Big data is proving a great boon to the healthcare industry as well. 62% organizations say that big data will significantly improve patient care in military healthcare systems. 59% believe in five years, fulfilling their agency's mission and objectives will depend on successful leveraging of big data. Are agencies taking the steps to prepare? So what is the big picture? Since 2014, there has been a 125% increase in the number of organizations that have implemented or deployed data-driven projects. There is a significant adoption seen across all organizations. Take a look at the infographic to know the timeline for big data plans. The statistics here gives the insight into how big data budgets will change the future, business goals driving investments, managing different types of data, Let's take a look at the statistics highlighting the top big data challenges for 2015 
and overcoming challenges with IT staff and vendors. The infographic here explains the success story of EMC. The primary sponsor of the human face of Big Data Project, EMC, is powering dramatic new insights into our lives. Organizations such as LinkedIn, eBay, Silver Spring, and many others use EMC storage. EMC stores, protects, and they analyze data with the help of big data. Let's look at another success story of big data users. Companies are using Hadoop for analytics to uncover new meaning in satellite imagery. Hadoop allows industries to gain new insights from geospatial data. Satellite imaging data contains huge amounts of information. Images to be processed and indexed make it difficult for users to search through databases for useful information. Skybox Imaging works to apply analytics to satellite images to leverage the data within. The company builds and operates high-resolution imaging satellites and makes data with images available for customers. This image data can tell users the speed of a ship carrying containers as it moves, or available parking space in a parking lot, or percentage of completion in a construction site. This could be a challenge as the data output is raw sensory data and not easily recognizable. Skybox partnered with Cloudera to build its own distribution of Hadoop. With this, Skybox customers can embed their algorithms in the company's platform and use analytics engine to crunch data for their own use cases. By studying and looking for changes in imaging data, agriculture clients can monitor crop yields, shipping and supply chain companies can monitor vehicles, and oil or gas companies can evaluate land areas. Implementation of Hadoop into image databases enables users to assemble data, normalize it, index it, and make meaningful connections. Here is a list of some more customers that have adopted big data and Hadoop-based technologies to empower big data applications to transform their businesses. Caesars Entertainment. Casino entertainment company Caesars Entertainment uses a new Hadoop environment built on CDH, Cloudera distribution of Hadoop that runs on Intel Xeon processor E5 family to identify customer segments and create specific marketing campaigns aligned to these segments. The new environment has reduced processing times for jobs from six hours to 45 minutes. This allows the Caesars to carry on faster and precise data analysis to enhance customer experiences and improve security. Cerner. Healthcare technology company Cerner has built an enterprise hub powered by CDH on Intel Xeon processors to create a more comprehensive view of any patient, conditions, or trends. This helps the company and its clients to monitor 1 million patients daily. It also helps them to determine the probability of patients who have a potential fatal bloodstream infection, sepsis, etc., with higher accuracy. MasterCard. MasterCard was the first company to implement CDH. Farm Logs. Farm management software company Farm Logs uses real-time analytics that run on Intel Xeon processor E5 family to provide actionable data on harvest, growing conditions, and vegetable health. This helps farmers increase the productivity. Now that you have learned about the importance of big data and also understood from the statistics that big data is not just an emerging fad, Let's now look at the solution and the framework which allows us to work on big data, Apache Hadoop. Apache Hadoop is an open source software framework from the open source community, apache.org. Various vendor specific distributions also exist in market, such as Cloudera distribution of Hadoop, Hortonworks data platform, IBM Big Insight and MapR, etc. Apache Hadoop, popularly known as Hadoop, allows distributed storage, horizontal scalability, distributed and parallel processing of large data sets on commodity machines, which form a cluster. Apache Hadoop consists of a storage layer, Hadoop distributed file system, processing layer, and MapReduce. We will learn more about HDFS MapReduce in the subsequent lessons. Apache Hadoop comprises of an ecosystem that is a collection of open source components or software packages, such as Apache Hive, HBase, Flume, Pig, Spark, Zookeeper, Scoop, Kafka, Storm, and so on. The components or packages can be installed on top of Hadoop, 
which can leverage the benefits of distributed file system and distributed processing. These components or packages change the way enterprise store, process, and analyze data. You can see here a Hadoop ecosystem and how components are layered to work together in an ecosystem. The list of software components continues to grow as the business needs grow, leading to innovative solutions. Let's now learn about the modules that comprise the Hadoop framework. The base Apache Hadoop framework consists of the following modules. Hadoop Common consists of libraries and utilities needed by other Hadoop modules. Hadoop Distributed File System, a distributed file system that stores data on commodity machines. Hadoop Yarn, a resource management platform for managing computing resources in cluster and using them for scheduling and processing user applications. Hadoop MapReduce, a programming model for large-scale distributed and parallel data processing. Other open source components, packages, as already discussed. Apache Hadoop consists of two logical layers, storage layer, processing layer. Both the logical layers contain master and slave daemons, which take care of storage and processing. Hadoop Distributed File System, or HDFS, is a distributed file system which holds the data for entire cluster, although it actually stores the data on underlying nodes that run the data nodes. We will learn more about HDFS and working of HDFS in the next lesson. The storage layer consists of name nodes, data nodes, and secondary name node. The illustration here shows a complete picture of a Hadoop cluster, although here we won't mention any other components or packages that can be part of a cluster. NN, name node. DN, data node. SNN, secondary name node. RM slash JT, resource manager or job tracker. NN slash TT, node manager or task tracker. M, map. R, reduce. M and R, map and reduce. HDFS, Hadoop distributed file system. Hey, want to become an expert in big data? Then subscribe to the Simply Learn channel and click here to watch more such videos. To nerd up and get certified in big data, click here.